<laughs> All right, good morning and welcome to the show. You know, I hope you got a chance to eat breakfast today because if not, you're probably hangry about now. You know that feeling, right, when your stomach is empty and you feel like biting someone's head off because you're so on edge. No, just me. It's not just me. It turns out being hangry isn't just a made up slogan for Snickers. Can we turn the AC up? I'm dying back here. It's on. Can't you feel it? Can you feel that? Oh. <laughs> Jeff, eat a Snickers, please. Why? Every time you get hungry, you turn into a diva. Just eat it so Ooh. we can all coexist. Turn into in a diva. Mm -hmm. Put it in your system, cranky pants. Okay. Thank you. Better? Better. Much, <laughs> much better. <laughs> So a study by European scientists found that new evidence that supports a link between hunger and negative emotions. Researchers used smartphone technology to help capture people's feelings in real life. I wonder if they were reading text messages that were angry. Anyway, they discovered that participants reported higher levels of anger and irritability than anything else than when they're hungry. So producer Rebecca is here with me now. Um, is this why we always have cheese sticks for me in the fridge? Is that the thing? I mean, I was a little bit surprised when I first started working here that we had those things on hand for you. I got to hand it to producer Susie. She's like the mom of everybody. <laughs> she buys these snacks just, you know, and now I know. It's like, well, because oh. when you're talking and you're doing this and you get hungry, you're using a lot of energy. Yeah. And I actually used to have a photographer that I worked with in the field many years ago. He called it the bear box, and he always kept snacks in there because he said, I'm so the smart. nicest person, but when I'm hungry, I turn into a mean, angry bear. It's so, like your blood you sugar. It just goes <laughs> I know. Uh, but this is a real thing with kids. Actually, my son had a condition oh, wow. that was very dangerous if he didn't get food and, and eat. But even if not, kids, if they don't eat, forget about oh. it. Yeah. yeah, that's They're why we awful. need big purses to like hide <laughs> all the snacks. What are your quick go-to snacks? Um, I, gosh, I should say something smart like an apple, but goldfish, a handful goldfish. of goldfish crackers. If you I were mean, to look in my very big purse right now, you yeah. would find probably like six granola bars. Uh -huh. oh, like well. just simple Quaker oats, a little shot of sugar, it's fine. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, yeah. but you know, I'd like them to eat a little bit healthier. And then the cheese and the salami that Susie has for us. Oh, God for that, Susie. Keeping us, <laughs> keeping us a well-oiled machine every day. All right, thanks, Rebecca. Well, we are about to stop the hangry right here and now because one of our favorite chefs is here to help us feed our bellies and our kids' bellies. Danielle Cardis has a fun book out called My First Cookbook. Yes. It's for kids, and she's here to share two fun recipes. Good morning. Yes, nice no to see back. you. Oh, oh I, I love, love your you guys. Face. You're fabulous. And you know what? I feel like every mom is in the pinch right now. Like, yeah. what do I do with my kids right oh, now? Oh, the School summer. is out. It's summertime. I, I don't want them on video games. Like, I say get them in the kitchen. It, I know it's a struggle. I know they're going to make a mess. I know they might even break something. <laughs> yes. But you know what? That's what we have the Dollar Tree and the Goodwill for. Just, re a just replace Preach. it. Just Danielle. replace it. <laughs> so um, I actually have to just mention that this book came out at the beginning of the pandemic. It did. So it it's really like a did. pandemic baby. It's a pandemic baby. And right now I'm like, we're traveling. Everybody's doing everything mm -hmm. again. I'm like, this little guy needs some fresh eyes. Right. He is the coolest book. And there's so many substitutions in it. One of the biggest things in this book, I'm, I'm going I'm to mm -hmm. get to this while I talk. Um, first, we're going to do the, the actual fresh squeezed lemonade. Okay. So much fun. But one of the reasons, first of all, lemon juice goes into a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is so simple. But one of the things that I really wanted to focus on, especially now, I mean, who knew a couple of years ago when I was writing this in 2019, inflation, grocery prices uh, are crazy. You gotta substitute. Right, Use what right. you have. That's super important. So yeah. we're making strawberry lemonade, but we if you are don't making have strawberries, strawberries. Use raspberries. Okay. And I'm really just pumping it up with the fruit. Get a little fork. This is where you get your little tiny fingers in there, and you're just gonna want them to smash the fruit. Oh, they're gonna love this against part. the sugar. And I mean, you can get some really. You could use overripe fruit. Okay. You can use bananas. I mean, really. Banana get super, lemonade. Get super creative. Okay. Whatever you've got. Do not go to the grocery store to make a specific recipe. I think it's really important okay. that your I, kids learn that. I actually have some overripe strawberries in my fridge right yep. now. You're literally looking at what I'm going to be doing yes. today. Uh, you said a cup of lemonade. How, um, lemons, how much was it? Oh, probably four or five lemons. I use okay. the little guys. Okay. Like this size right over here. Oh. Four or five little, du little dudes. All right. Then you're going to put them into the pitcher. Okay. Some people will make a simple syrup and then they'll bring it to a boil and they'll, you know, that as I splash it all over like my face. A lot. It seems like a lot. <laughs> and you, I'm like as it goes all over my face. You know what? Don't don't do that. Don't, don't bring do it to that. a boil. You're gonna clean thank you. you. Clean me off. I love it. And then here goes your cold water. Cold so you got water. Four or five cups of cold water. Okay. 
and then just literally this is it. That's it. It's easy like, peasy it. lemon squeezy. You stir it like old school Kool Aid. I mean, I don't feed my kids Kool Aid. There's nothing wrong with it though because it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But this reminds me of the Kool Aid. Dissolve the sugar. Yeah. Me and my brothers and sisters would like watch until this sugar stops. And is it ready to to? It's basically ready when you can stop hearing and feeling the sugar. Okay. It takes like five minutes. You might want to just let it just sit. Let them keep stirring. Let them keep, keep stirring. stirring, kiddos. Keep stirring, and that's a good project. I've got a five-year-old. He's five on Friday. He <gasps> loves to just. Happy do birthday. this. Happy birthday, little dude. Here we go. And look it. And then we can try it. Oh, yes. Oh, so yeah. delicious. Some ice in here. This is super refreshing. If you want a mom tail, you can put like a little shot of something in there. <laughs> a little bit of white wine. You have yourself name? like a sangria. Oh. But it's so refreshing. Okay, that's really good and refreshing. Mm hmm. That is really good. And it's, it's wonderful. Simple. It tastes yeah. very simple. And if you want it a little bit more tart, you add mm -hmm. more lemons. You want it a little less sweet, add less sugar. I love Get it. Get more All water right. in there. So we got drinks, but we got to make lunch now. Yes. These kids now are getting hungry. Lunch. They're getting annoying. Here is an uh, right. Here is an ode to the old school turkey pinwheels. I love a turkey pinwheel. I love they them still too. Sell you guys. These at Costco. What are they, they called? They do the t little turkey wraps. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna move this guy over. Actually, you know what? Not over there. There's no room. Okay. I'm gonna move him right here. Got it. Those are a little. She's a mom. She knows what she's doing. I know. Doing. I'm like, boom. Here we go. You got sun dried tomato. I get wheat. Okay. And this is kind of fun. So here's your weapon of choice. Got it. Here's mine. A little bit of cream cheese. As lot or as little as you like. Okay. And I'm going to show you a little trick. So get the cream cheese on here. This is your base. This is really going to be choose your own adventure okay. after I this I see part. that you're doing it on one side here. One side. Okay. And watch this. You want it to go out to the actual ends. You see oh, that? Okay. See, I should have listened before I started. No, girl. All right. I got this. Your kids aren't going to listen. This is perfect. <laughs> your kids are going to be diving right in. And then watch. You want some glue over here. Let me move this guy oh. out of the way so everybody can see. You want glue to hold this little dude together. Oh, I need the glue. See, you need the glue. glue. I'm going to flip him around for you. Okay. Get and some glue get right some glue. there. All right. Oh, right. Now, here goes our yummy fillings. Okay. We got some turkey. Turkey is good. If you don't have turkey, use chicken. If you don't have chicken, use a can of tuna. I mean, really, like you can Anything really do. Anything you have in the house. Dry okay. your pickles off with a paper towel because otherwise they'll be a little bit smooshy. Okay. And a pickle. Yep, I love pickles. I want two. I also want some spinach because I like spinach. My kids would probably cry. I put my, so my kids, my kids probably would not cry. want spinach. They would stop at turkey and pickles. No, my kids would not. My son might eat spinach. My daughter, no way. No way. And here we're rolling. Okay, so get this nice and tight. Okay. So we move them towards you like that. Okay. Perfect. I didn't put my turkey in. Hold oh, on. oh, sorry. Okay. You need two pieces. I need two pieces. Need okay, two pieces. I'm ready. All right. Nice now and tight. Now roll nice and tight. And then roll and kind of smoosh them right into your cream cheese glue. <gasps> That's why you have that end there. Ta -ta. Because have you ever held one of these and they flap open and Always. then your kids actually cry because their tortillas open? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, I mean, just mine. This happens all the time. Yeah, so you just need a little glue right and there. And then you can just cut it in little pinwheels? Just cut them in little pinwheels. Oh, I like it. This is probably not the best yeah. knife. For it's the not, <laughs> but you know what? You're going to use that knife at home. So why not use it oh, here? That's true. And there's your cute little roll up. How fun is that? Yes, it's perfect. And this book is just so much fun for kids, like using the substitutions. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many great recipes. And when your kids get involved, they're going to eat what they make. Right. Well, that's the one thing you taught me. You yeah. said if they cook their own food, they're yeah. going to try it. They're, they're going to try it. Because they've seen what has gone into it. And I don't know if this is, I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I did read somewhere, and you know how you read something, you're, you're, on an TV. you're an expert. Yeah. I did read somewhere that kids have to taste something 15 times to know if they truly don't like it. Yes. A lot of time it's textural. It's like, ooh, I'm not really into that crunchy whatever. Right. Like my 11-year-old now, he loves the onions and cilantro on his tacos. Wow. It was a day that the angels were singing for me. But forever it was like, no onions, no cilantro, mom. And now he's turning into a man. So I have a kid who's super duper picky. Yeah. And what advice do you have for that? Don't force it. Okay. Find the things that they like. And I promise you, your kids start to like different things. Uh, okay. I mean, don't force it, but also don't coddle coddle it. But if I mean, if they have like gag reflexes and stuff, don't force them to eat this <laughs> oh. stuff at your dinner table. They're like, they're going to, they're gonna like it. Yes. They're, it's gonna turn around. I didn't eat a cheeseburger, no kidding, until I was like 11. Yeah. I didn't want to eat a cheeseburger. Yeah. I had nothing, my mom would never take, so I, I, but now I love a cheeseburger. Yes. Like it's the perfect food. So. Like it's your very favorite. And it, your kids yeah. are gonna do the same thing, like Noah with the cilantro and the onions. I love it. Little homie wouldn't have touched that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like he wouldn't have. Last question, <laughs> would you do, maybe add little things to their favorites? Like my kids love mac and cheese, should I start adding in yes. things? 100%. We went through 
through a phase where I told my kids, if you want mac and cheese, I'm gonna mash broccoli into it. They cried for a little bit, and then it was like, fine, I want the mac and cheese. And I don't do it all the time, but, but I just throw a couple florets while I'm boiling the noodles. I love it. And you just smash it up. There is a recipe for inside out um, sh turkey shells and cheese in here. <gasps> Same thing. You're I adding turkey it. to your homemade mac and cheese, and you're mixing it all up. This Snacks book. and drinks. So get your kids in the kitchen right now. I love it. It's so beautiful, and it's so fun, and it's you definitely wipe geared it off. towards kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's easy it's to wipe. It's easy to wipe <laughs> off. <laughs> well, Danielle shared her recipes with us, and you can find them now on New Day's website. Thank you so thank much. You. It's always a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Our kids feeding yep. us.